right? You clicked on the video, you read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're talking about today. We're talking about Disney's problem of writing female characters. I am mainly talking about the characters in the live action remakes and how they've basically rewritten their past characters to appeal to modern audiences. So yeah, here we go. So Disney's problem with writing female characters is probably pretty obvious to most people and I know that I'm not the only YouTuber that's talked about this. There are a lot of YouTubers who have talked about this and I have no clue if I'll be adding anything new to the table. I might not, but I just wanted to put my opinions out there on the internet and since my entire family is already bored of hearing my opinions, I figured why not share it with people who actually would want to listen and you can find anybody who wants to listen to you ramble m meaninglessly for a couple of minutes on the internet. So that's why I'm talking about this today. The problem with Disney's modern women or like modern female characters, that's what I meant to say, modern female characters is that they try to make them strong. And I'm not saying a strong female character is a bad thing. By all means, I am not. Having a strong female character is an okay thing. You can have a character who is female, who is a strong person. But it's just like, where they draw the line with a strong person is, I would guess, overlooked or just ignored most of the time. And what I mean by that is, like, you can you can be a strong person. You might not be afraid of a spider like your friend is. Or you might not be afraid of the dark like some people are, like maybe your friends. And those are just very, very small examples of being a strong person. Like, for a larger example, you could be going through a difficult time, but still plow through it because you are a strong person. The problem is with that strong person thing. Like, as I said, you can be a strong person and be going through a difficult time and be able to plow through it. But not all strong people can just plow through something that's hard without any help, if you get what I'm saying. Like, some people still need help to get through a difficult situation. And if you're you might be lucky enough to have friends or family who want to help you and that's a good thing because like you're not always going to be able to solve all your problems for yourself the problem with modern disney or just maybe just women in general written in media these days is just they're so strong that they don't need anybody else and maybe they will even criticize people who do need other people or who look up to other people in need assistance from time to time. I have never seen She-Hulk, and nor do I really want to, but from what I have heard from people who have watched it, it's that She-Hulk, or whatever her name is, I, I don't know if that's a real name, it probably isn't, but she looks down upon people because she's stronger, I suppose. Like, her her character is that she's a strong female character and because she's a strong female character she can look down upon other people and that's not really what makes you strong that just makes you a jerk being a strong person doesn't mean that you look down upon other people who need help it's okay to need help or even want help i mean if you're looking to somebody to solve all of your problems then yes, that's that's not a good thing. But if you're just like, if you need help from time to time and are going through a difficult time and you need somebody to comfort you, that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But as I have said, for the strong female characters in Disney movies, they don't need any help because they are too strong and too independent to have that help. And they often are just conceited and look down upon people who do need help. 
I'm sure most of you know about the deal with Snow White and what Rachel Zegler said about it and how Snow White doesn't need a prince and she just wants to be the true queen or whatever that she knows she can be because she knows that she can and she doesn't need a prince to help her and save her. And while that is fine to have a character written like that, she is deliberately looking down upon the source material, which basically brought Disney to be what it is. Without Snow White, Disney might not be as popular or even a thing that like it is today. And to look down upon that, it really set people off. And another example of Disney changing its characters in the live action remake is Ariel. She, in the original movie, was captured by Ursula, and Prince Eric, who, um, honestly, he didn't really do anything much in the original movie in the first place, so him saving Ariel from Ursula and penetrating Ursula was bas basically the big thing that he did. He was a great guy at that moment. And then somehow... Ariel, in about five seconds, figured out how to steer the ship in the live-action remake. And she was the one who defeated Ursula. She defeated Ursula, basically. Ariel and Eric's roles were completely reversed. And I myself didn't really like Ariel from the original Little Mermaid. I didn't really like that she gave up her entire life that she had under the sea just for a guy. And I know that she was interested in the surface before she met Eric. And he was just like the one, he was like the last thing that made her want to go. She already wanted to, but he was the major motivation for that. I understand that. I just didn't really like her as a character in the original one. But I do think that she could have been a little bit brave because she was giving up everything that she had just to have a chance at the life that she wanted on the surface. I mean, she's got to have some guts for that, signing away a treatment to an underwater sea witch and then going to live on the surface without a voice. I don't think people or even myself really credit her with that enough. But in the live-action remake, as I said, her and Eric's revolt roles, excuse me, are completely reversed. And hey, maybe that might not have been a problem if, like, earlier in the movie, Eric was showing her how to steer a ship or he was teaching her how. And it was a cute little couple moment that they had. But no, she just learned how to in five minutes. And it's not just the women that are the problem in Disney's writing. It's also the men. In modern times, we have to have strong female characters, and most of the men characters are kind of weaker than they were before. They're not as strong and often undermined by the female characters. And you know what? Not all men are going to be like Eric or Prince Charming. They're not all going to be like that. But at the same time, not all men are going to be super weak. And not all women are going to be super strong and not looking for love and are just no nonsense. And I think that the most major problem Disney has at the moment is that they're not paying attention to the stories that they are telling, they are more paying attention to the message. The characters and the stories don't really matter anymore, it's just the message that the characters in the story carry. As long as the message of the story appeals to someone or a certain group of people, that is all that matters. And I don't know if you know this, but maybe you, you probably do. In the Writers Guild, you have to have these certain characters or these certain people or these certain messages in order to have your film made and make it onto, like, be a Hollywood movie, basically. And while it's good to have some representation in movies, and I'm not against that, the bad thing is that you prioritize that over a good story because a good story is what the people who want to see your movie are paying for. 
so to summarize everything and wrap everything up, the problem with Disney's modern female characters in stories is that they're putting the messages in the movies before an actual good story. If you want more of these review sort of type things, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I will see you all next week. Goodbye!